Venters tackled the challenge of snow travel with determination and frustration. The first snow machines trudged through winters awkwardly and slowly, but by the late 1950s, new technologies and materials emerged to make snowmobiles that could blaze through the snow with increasing ease and comfort. Snowmobilers often face rugged terrain. Snowmobiles need a rock-solid build to keep the riders safe and comfortable. It all begins with an aluminum alloy frame. The pieces arrive partly assembled to the radiator. A robot spins and positions the frame. A computer-guided frame rivet machine punches holes and inserts rivets directly into the frame with great precision. This process bonds the parts tightly so they can't vibrate. Next comes the rear suspension, aimed at making the ride as smooth as possible. Inserting this plastic slide onto the runner minimizes friction between the track and the suspension. A conveyor belt carries the suspension system through several stations. Wheels and sprockets will turn the track that grips the snow. The suspension kit with springs and coils goes directly into the runners. Along with these shock absorbers, the suspension will fit snugly into the snowmobile's frame. Workers tighten everything manually for now. Later, a machine will tighten things even more. Assembling the transmission system starts with this counter shaft. First, they install a high-performance brake disc made of forged steel. The chain case fits snugly on top, thanks to the ridges on this ring. This die-cast aluminum casing will house two gears and a chain. This bolt connects to a spring that keeps the gears and chain tight as they turn. The chain tightener must slide smoothly back and forth in its groove to keep the chain's tension even. This test checks that the spring expands and compresses properly. Now comes the oil gauge. It's essential that oil lubricate the parts thoroughly because the motor will generate a lot of friction. The transmission fits on top of the frame. These coils, springs, runners, and wheels fit easily into the rubber track. The rear suspension system connects to the track system, while this white plastic sprocket connects the track to the transmission. The speed sensor attaches directly to the sprocket. Four high-grade steel bolts anchor the rear suspension system to the frame. They're so strong that the suspension can withstand the vibrations that come with high speeds. Now for the engine assembly. Bolts attach the electric starter directly to the engine. The fuel-injected engine generates a lot of heat, up to 700 degrees Celsius. This shield has layers of insulating wool that act as a heat barrier to protect the driver from scorching hot exhaust. The engine's made of cast aluminum, so it's relatively light, just 45 kilograms. And it propels the snowmobile up to 200 kilometers an hour. Now for the front of the snowmobile. This front suspension system requires a different assembly from the rear one. A hoist brings it all together. The gas tank is made of lightweight molded plastic rather than metal. The throttle controls the speed, just like a gas pedal in a car. They install the throttle assembly and a few more functional details. These lightweight aerodynamic plastic side panels give this snowmobile a sleek look. And now, the final step. The zero-gravity hoist lifts it all onto a skid. Polystyrene sheets protect the snowmobile during transport to the retailer. From start to finish, it's taken three hours to assemble this showroom-ready snow-traveling machine.